What's up world, Mr. Magna Ragnarok here. Welcome back to Let's Play Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. In the last video, we basically completed Shadow's first stage in the Dark Story and got into the hidden base with Rouge. And in this video, we're going to hopefully get a good amount of progress done in this video. So, let's just do that. So... Oh, by the way, Happy New Year, everybody. I hope you guys are having a good 2013 so far. I know I am, and also, um, I guess you can say, Merry Late Christmas from me, I guess. Because, yeah, the last time I recorded this, this was, like, back on the 21st. So, yeah, I hope you guys had a good Christmas last year, and a good last year as well. Because I certainly did, and I hope it goes well for you guys. Alright, now basically the gimmick here for Lost Colony. Um, it's kind of the same as that the last stage for Tails. Uh, I, I forget the name of the stage, but... It's basically the same thing, really. And it has like a mixed combination of Sonic in it as well. Alright, well, you're gonna wanna come over here. And I believe you're gonna wanna destroy. Yeah, you wanna get right here, jump up on these two steel containers. And we get Eggman's first power ups in the game the Jet Engine. This allows you to hover when you hold down a button during a jump. So, yeah. Basically, this is Eggman's version of the hover jets. But, uh, yeah. I'm actually recording this on January 4th, by the way. I'm hoping this will go up on the same day I record this. If not, then this should go up by the 6th, then. I actually do like the music in this stage. It's actually pretty cool. So I guess, like, really, if it, if it came to music in this game, um, probably my two favorite characters whose music I like best would probably have to be Eggman and Knuckles, really. I mean, I like all the other characters' musics in this game. Well, their themes. Not music. Um, I would probably pick Eggman and Knuckles, like one from each side. Yeah, it'd be those two. Cause like, I mean, their music has like that sort of rock feeling, you know? I, I don't know how to say it, but like, it's it's good to me. All right, and now you're gonna want to hover over here, and I believe this is the last checkpoint before the end. If not, then second to last. But yeah, um, more talk on the dark story here. Um, to me, it feels as though it's pretty much easy to get A ranks in all the stages for the dark story because. Like, there are a lot more enemies in the dark story than there are in the hero story because. Well, hence, they're trying to make the dark story difficult. And, yeah, I mean, basically, to me, it's pretty much easier to get an A on the dark story than it is for heroes, because, like, they give you more bonuses to add to your score each and every time. Oh, and uh, also I should mention this right now, um, the last video, remember how I told you guys I had to re-record that one stage for Shadow because something went wrong in editing, well not editing, but the file got corrupted? Um, yeah, basically we're back to the original file I started out with in this project, so, yeah, we're, we're back to where we were originally, so don't worry viewers, like, my life count is still somewhat the same. Like, everything's been completed so far up to this point. And, yeah. That's pretty much it. Here's the goal. <laughs> there were enemies in here. I didn't even see them. I knew there were, but I just couldn't see them. 
Alright, I'm pretty sure I got an A in this stage. No, B! <laughs> Piece of cake. Eh, okay, fine. I'll, I'll accept a B. Anyways, we get our 23rd emblem. And now we get a cutscene. So, enjoy! I've been waiting for you, Doctor. Now, I will show the glorious achievement of what the world's leading scientist, Professor Gerald, has created. The Ark was the first space colony created by mankind. Not many people know that the Ark contained a top secret research facility, where weapons of mass destruction were being created. This is one of them, a weapon capable of destroying an entire planet, codenamed the Eclipse Cannon. Destroying an entire planet? Was this my grandfather's legacy? But it's been deactivated for some time now. To reactivate it, large amounts of energy are necessary. So that's why we needed the Chaos Emerald. Exactly. To reactivate the machine, we need the seven Chaos Emeralds. Once you have that, then you have the ultimate power of destruction to use as you please. And then, the world could be yours. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. I like the way you think, Shadow. I will get the Chaos Emeralds, use the machine to dominate the world, and build a legacy of my own. Do you really think own. it will be that easy? I've got a great idea. How about making a deal? A deal? When you grab that huge emerald, you said something about a reaction. A reaction that it may have with the Master Emerald. Now, if you could just let me borrow that radar, I may be able to help you. What do you if think? I do. What's in it for me? I have an idea where the other Chaos Emeralds may be. It may not look like it, but do you know that I am a treasure hunter that specializes in all kinds of jewels? Very well. Okay then, it's a deal. I don't think we've been introduced. I'm Rouge the Bat, but you can call me Rouge. Having to come back isn't my idea of a vacation. How can you be sure your intelligence reports are correct? Why would the Chaos Emeralds be here on the island? Are you absolutely sure? Well, believe what you want to believe. <laughs> very well, very well. Let's discuss how we are going to do this. I will go in first and distract the military troops, allowing you to sneak in the base without being detected. Then, Shadow will enter the armory, where he will set the timer on these dynamite packs. Once that is in place, we will blow up the whole island and get away before anyone has a chance to know what hit them. Meanwhile, you'll have to sneak into the cargo area and grab the Chaos Emerald. That's a challenge for such a worthy treasure hunter as yourself, isn't it, that girl? We only have 30 minutes to pull this mission off, and we only get one try, so don't fail me. And so, this basically leads us back here to Prison Island. Anyway, Stage 7, Weapons Bed. Alright, now this stage is basically the perfect Dr. Eggman stage to get an absolute A rank in. Just as long as you don't die or anything. Yeah, like look at that. You can lock on to so many things at once that it will give you a perfect 2,000 points to your score. And 
And also in this stage, we're gonna get another power for Eggman, which is right here. These are the large cannon. Vulcan cannon power up. You can now break iron containers that you couldn't break before. So yeah, now we can break the iron containers. Like these right here. Oh yeah. And if I'm right, I believe this is one of Eggman's shortest stage in the game. No, I believe though. So yeah, I mean, all we're doing is just we're just distracting the enemies here. And the main gimmick to this stage is well, basically these platforms and a lot of enemies that are deactivated for some apparent reason. I am actually glad I survived that. Normally I would have fallen in and just died right there, but I didn't. Oh boy, I I'm about to sneeze right now, viewers. I, I can already tell I'm going to sneeze at any moment now. Okay, maybe not. Hold in your sneeze, Connor. Just hold it in for now. Yeah, and you might as well get rings as well, because they add 10 points to your score, too, so don't forget that, viewers. But yeah, if you if you don't die in this stage and you can't get an A on here, I feel sorry for you. Because this stage is really easy to get an A ring. Oh crap. Alright. Ow. Dang it, lose some rings. Alright, good. Dang it, I hate, I hate it when the enemies come out like that and they just surprise you, like, it, it doesn't even give you enough time to react enough to basically avoid them. I really hate how they do that. Alright, and I believe this is the last checkpoint before the end. Ah, nice try, enemies. I knew you were coming. Alright, this should get... Yeah, like, look at our score right now. We're already close to 20,000, and we're not even done yet. And now we're already above 20,000. <laughs> I have a feeling they're going to pop out right here. Yeah, nice try. I was ready for that enemy there. And I believe the goal is right up here. Yeah, I see the end. One more enemy just to try and stop us. But he failed miserably. He should be ashamed. And here's the goal. Yosh. Now, if I don't get an A on this stage, then I feel sorry for myself. What? <laughs> what? What? Okay, I probably just didn't lock on long enough or something like that. It had to be it. God, that's sad. Alright, well, cutscene. Here you go. Okay, everyone ready? Shadow, Rouge, on with the show! Oh, Sonic! I thought I'd never see you again! I'm so glad you made it! You're not Sonic! Who are you? I'm the one who should be asking that. Dr. Eggman! Ah! Ah! 
Pay me, you tiny. Leave it to me. I'll take that turn. Come on, you two, go. Come on, So, at least we now know how Amy and Dr. Eggman came to meet each other in this segment of the story. Anyways, here's Tails. Eggman, you won't get away with this. Oh, uh, fortunately for you, Mr. Foxboy, I will. Because I am the bad guy, and the bad guys will win. Okay, fine, we'll trade blows. You are me. You pay for this. Was so close. Better luck next time, Foxy. Yeah, boy. better luck next time, Foxy. Anyways, one more cutscene. Oh, but wait, stage eight, security hall. I'm in position, Doctor. Tell me when. There's been an unexpected delay on my end. There's no more time to waste. Set the timer for 15 minutes. Let's go, Rouge. Five minutes should be plenty. Here I go. Alright, but we're going to save this stage for the next video. Because I want to talk a little bit about this stage right here. So, next time on Let's Play Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, we will tackle Security Hall. Anyways, see you guys then.